Reading the seismogram, which is a graphical representation of seismic waves recorded by a seismograph, can provide valuable information about earthquakes and other seismic events. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to read a seismogram. Understand the axis. A seismogram typically consists of a graph with two axes. The horizontal axis represent time, usually measured in seconds, minutes, or hours. The vertical axis represent the amplitude or intensity of the recorded seismic waves, typically measured in millimeters or micrometers. Identify B wave. The first seismic wave to arrive at a seismograph is the P wave, which is primary wave. It is a compressional wave that travels faster than other waves and causes the ground to move back and forth. On a seismogram, the P wave is represented by an initial small deflection from the baseline. Locate S wave. After the P wave, the S wave, which is secondary wave, follows. It is a slower shear wave that causes the ground to move up and down or side to side. On a seismogram, the S wave appears as a larger deflection from the baseline, usually after the P wave. Determine wave arrivals. Seismic wave arrive at different times, depending on the distance from the earthquake epicenter. By measuring the time interval between the P wave and S wave arrivals, and using known wave velocity, you can estimate the distance to the earthquake epicenter. Analyze wave forms. Seismic waves recorded on a seismogram can have various shape and patterns indicating different characteristics of the earthquake. For example, the amplitude and duration of the waves can provide information about the earthquake's magnitude and the energy released. Sharp spikes or irregular patterns may indicate strong ground motion or complex seismic events. Consider background noise. Seismograms also record background noise, which can be caused by human activities, weather phenomena, or other sources. To accurately interpret it, the seismic wave, it's essential to distinguish between the noise and the actual earthquake signals. Compare with other seismograms. To validate your observations and gain a more comprehensive understanding, it is helpful to compare the seismogram with recordings from other nearby seismographs, especially those at different distance from the earthquake source. This comparison allows for more accurate determination of earthquake location and magnitude. Reading a seismogram can be a complex task, and it often requires expertise in seismology. However, by following these steps and consulting relevant resources or experts in the field, you can gain a basic understanding on the seismic wave recorded on a seismogram.